what's going on. You see this mower here? You see this crystal clear black driveway that there wasn't a leaf on. All this debris here. All this debris that you're seeing here. Is from one spindle right here. Huh? You see these guards? When you do your leaf cleanups, man, when you're using these mowers, you know, basically to mulch leaves, you know, blow them into the street, you know, when you're directing them, when you keep going over them, you gotta keep these guards off. These guards, look at this one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. This light. I hope you can see how bad this is here, man. It's all you guys, if you think, you know, something's... See, the thing, the reason why you don't want this, because this is how you, you uh, pop your belts off. Especially in these Hustler Raptors. Um, I didn't have any problems with grass this year. A couple times, you know, with long grass. You know, I would clean it out once a week, once every two weeks. To be honest, sometimes a month. But with the leaves, I mean, you can even, you notice something's going on. I noticed today, I was just, you know, I was making a little bit of a noise down there. You know, the, the engine was kind of, you know, chugging along. Like, just it's not itself, you know. This is the first place to kind of look. So, yeah, these guards during the uh, your leaf cleanup season. Like I said, all those leaves are from one. Look at it. Wait until I blow this out. It's going to be crazy. But anyway, um, yeah, just a little heads up. Uh, a couple people been asking me, yeah, what's going on? Why did they go? Why did Hustler, Raptor, the Big Dog Alphas, the Alpha MPs and the Hustler Raptor Super Duties and some Fast Track and some Stouts go over to Kaw uh, Kohler from Kawasaki. Um, I talked to Kawasaki directly down at GIE. Um, some a couple different stories were floating around. But I went to Kawasaki and got it straight for them from them. They told me the reason why the Raptors, Raptor, Super Duty, and the Alpha line. Well, now, this only explains actually the Hustler, now that I think about it. The reason is Kawasaki does not want to be in a big box store. <clears throat> they don't want to be in Lowe's. They don't want to be in Home Depot. They want to be strictly a commercial brand. They offered um, Hustler, hey, listen, All right, that's fine. You still want to sell. In your Lowe's, in your Home Depot, that's fine. But, you, but you're not selling our Kawasaki's in those stores. So it's totally up to you. You know, if you want to do, you know, have the dealers, have the hustlers with the Kawasaki's and Home Depot and Lowe's. You want to sell them there with the Kohler's, that's totally up to you. But we don't want our Kawasaki's in the big box stores. So Hustler, from what Kawasaki told me, they decided to go strictly with Kohler. So that's your story. I was also hearing um, there is the truth, too, because a couple other companies were talking about it. Um, Kawasaki's, they, man, they can't get these engines out. I know last year, I, I asked them about that, too, the Kawasaki reps. They're like, yeah, that's kind of true, but that was last year, not this year. But, um, yeah, some of these companies are having a hard time getting Kawasaki engines to put in their mowers. Um, I guess they were so in demand and you know, I don't know what was going on with Kawasaki. They they, they couldn't meet the the uh, demand. Um, I talked to them. I asked them about that. They said that was last year. So, but this year, you know, they have no problems at all. They're back right up with their normal uh, pace of putting out mowers, uh, engines, excuse me. But, um, yeah, so pretty much Kawasaki does not want to be in the big box stores. And, uh they gave Hustler a chance to say, hey, like I said, you want to put our, our motors in your engine, you got to go to a dealer. You want to put your 
I'm, I'm all over the place. You want to put our engines in your mowers, you got to go through the dealers. We're not going to uh, have our engines in the big box stores. But anyway, I'm a little off here. I'm busting my chops, working, breaking my back. Um, anyway, yeah, so this, this, this goes for every uh, mower brand. But, um, you know, it's a good idea to keep these covers off during your uh, cleanups, your fall leaf cleanups and everything. I mean, you, you can leave them on, but just make sure every day or every other day you, uh, you know, clean them up, clean them out. Because you don't want these belts popping off. So that's it. I will check you on the next one.